welcome to Mother Bird Blog. Good morning, Mother Bird Blog family. Today is a big day for us. Sorry, I'm doing breakfast at the same time. Um, we've finally taken Lucy's dummy off of her. She's 11 months old. I wanted to do it before, but we've had sickness and diarrhea bugs. We've had all sorts hit us hard. So we finally got here. It's gone. It's in her cot and it's not coming back yeah. out. And I'm going to get rid of it when she's not looking. Wish me luck. I'm going to show you the ins, the outs, the good, the bad. And oh my God, my postpartum hair loss just like sprung back up. Just popped up to say hey. Okay, so. Oh my God, this can really annoy me. Stay down. Wish me luck. Ah! Say bye bye to dummy. Day one of no dummy. Say bye bye, dummy. Say bye bye. Bye bye, dummy. <coughs> oh dear. This what's to come. But the plan is just to do complete cold turkey, take it off, it's gone. Let it. Nothing ever. You okay? We've just oh. had a puppy because you didn't want to get dressed. How are you feeling with no dummy? You keeping it together? <laughs> I know. My name's Lucy and I'm feeling bad. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> oh, Cece. Is that better? A few raisins did the job. And we're happy. <laughs> so far, so good. We have not gone back to dummy. She's had a few patties, which she normally does, but we've persuaded her with food. To be happy. So the next mission will be nap time. She always has her dummy to be with now for it. Say bye bye dummy. Bye bye dummy. I don't care about dummy. I don't care about dummy. She doesn't seem fun. How do you feel about your sister not having a dummy? Sister. And she's had a bottle and gone off fine. Another one of those things where I'm like, I think I picked up taking her dummy off of her a lot more than it was going to be. I mean, Ru Ruby, we did cold turkey as well. And by day three, no fuss in the world. But naps and sleep used to be the worst for Ruby because she really, 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 really relied on her dummy then. Whereas now, Lucy loves her dummy and today she's been fine. Fingers crossed it continues. Cece's just woken up from her nap. She had an hour and she's done it without dummy. She woke up a little upset. Are you okay now? And um, we're starting to get slightly cranky. This is usually when she always has her dummy. Afternoon, just before dinner, for an hour. But we'll be fine. Happy and you know we clap your hands. Yay! Are you grumpy? Happy day. Sad face. Happy day. Oh dear. Face. Happy day. Don't face. 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 Don't face.
Happy <laughs> It's now half three, she's just trapped her fingers, but luckily you were saved really quickly with a cuddle. So far so good. Bring on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> now going on ten hours of no dummy and she does not care right this second. So she just had dinner and a bath and seems in pretty yeah. good mood. Ta -da. Do you mind not having your dummy? I'm just hoping that tonight for bedtime she goes down quickly because I'm off to work and that she doesn't wake up and play up the top. I don't want him to cave and give her a dummy. No. What are you doing? <laughs> you okay? Did you break your face? <laughs> Look at your red head! Look at your red head! You will bang your head again. What are you doing? <laughs> Is it bedtime? Is it bedtime? So that's a full day without Tammy. It's now bedtime. She's brushing her teeth, Ruby's in bed, and I'm gonna be going off to work, so I'm leaving it in your hands. Wonderful. Please don't okay. go. Wish me luck. <laughs> I think you're gonna need it. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. So Zara's gone to work and left me with Lucy with first night of no dummy. Hate to say it, Zara, but he took about 10 minutes, a little whinge, straight to sleep, easy. You've got to think of the dummy a bit like a habit. They don't need it, they don't crave it, well they probably do crave it but I don't know, it's like a bad habit that you're trying to get yourself out of. You know what it's like as adults, me personally it's smoking, yeah, it's, it's more of a want than I need. They're going to be a little bit unhappy and wanting it and depending what age you do it at. But in Lucy's case she can't ask for it so I find it easier at this age. Um, it's like tonight with Lucy putting her to sleep. She had a little bit of a moan and a cry but you just keep reassuring her. Um, that's about cat there. And that's about all you can do really. No tips or anything that I can give as such. It's all, even though know, it's second child, it's all still trial and error. Every child's different. I've just been a bit lucky tonight that Lucy's not really even that bothered. She may wake up in the middle of the night and struggle to resettle. I suppose you've just got to comfort her. Yeah, help her through. Lucy just woke up. Don't know why. Um, yeah, so she was crying. I went in the room, laid her back down. I said, right, Lucy, bedtime. Walked out, and it looks like she settled herself back again. So, so far, so good. Lucy's woken up. She doesn't want a bottle. She's had a bomb changed. There's no, no real reason for her crying. Other than she wants her dummy. As you can see, she's settled when she's with Zara. Not a problem. As soon as you lay it down, she's just cry, cry, cry. She's just wanting that dummy bad. Fortunately, the first couple of nights are going to be the hardest. But you know that it's for the best. Poor Ruby. She's in there trying to... Uh, Try to get some sleep, bless her. You've got Lucy just screaming. Trust me, this is uh, 
the last resort for Zara getting in her cot. We've tried to leave her, see if she'll settle herself. Hello, me again. Got back from work, had an update from Tom, everything was brilliant. He said she settled so easily when she did wake up. And then I got a hot drink. Typical. Lucy wake up and she's just screaming, screaming, screaming. Nothing with settler, bottles, bum change. And the only time that she'd come down is in my arms. So I'd calm her down, lay her back down awake and she'd start again. I'd give her a minute and yep, that was she's circle. It got to the point where she's starting to cry so much and she's crying just because she's crying and I cannot hack my children crying. So I got in the cot, fell asleep on my chest because at the end of the day we've took away one of her comforts so she's now reaching out and wanting me as a comfort as well. It won't last forever. I remember when we did it with Ruby, because we do it cold turkey, the first night is the hardest. And then by day three, they're fine. So I'm really, really hoping that by day three, she's fine. That is what I'm telling myself. But because we've done it all day, like I kind of feel like if we give the dummy back to her now, like, might as well not have done all day. Like it's wasted effort. We're just delaying it happening again. Dodos. What do you think, Dodos? I'm just going to lick my paw. So I'm really hoping for a miracle tonight because I'm now absolutely shattered. I know in seven hours the girls will be up. Oh, thanks for that, love. But wish me luck. So, if you like what you saw today, make sure you like. Subscribe!